Sean Sheehan here for Severe MMA at the Belter Dublin Media Day. Standing alongside Aaron Chalmers, who fights Austin Klim this weekend. And I've had to ask you this question first off. I've been thinking of it for weeks. Those IKEA wardrobes. What's the crack with them? <laughs> oh, I don't even start. So, obviously, my stepdaughter needed needed some wardrobes like that fit. We had perfect perfect slots. So you know what it is the IKEA ones fit in perfect. So for you know what it is get them with nice doors on. And this bloke come out. <laughs> Fucking twelve hours. He was in my house, right? And the wardrobes were just terrible. As you could see by the video, I was absolutely. F- he got there at 10 in the morning and I got back from training at 10 at night and he was fucking still in the room. My daughter, my daughter wasn't in bed. She was at hard school the next day and I just fucking lost it. Lost it. So they, they come out, took the old ones down, gave us new ones for free. So it worked out, it worked out well. You gotta fix that in it. For free, yeah. So it's all good. It's mad what Instagram can do. <laughs> yeah, I was, I, was, I was like, I was in trial looking through our Instagram stories. Yeah. Uh, well, um, the walkout as well on Saturday. I, I maybe not give it away, but I hear you have you something. I I, it, was, it was my idea, do you know that? Oh, is it? Ah, oh, how good is that going to be? Yeah, well, I think we'll take, I'm going to take the. Um, I think I'm going to take the, the what you call it out beforehand. Oh, yeah, the, I'm, yeah, the I'm going to take the first bit out just purely for the yeah, Irish one. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. by the time we played it yesterday, and by the time I've walked out, I'll be like half in the cage. Yeah, yeah. It's too long, so I'm going to I'm going to get them straight on with that. Yeah. I think I've been like this. Is me. I've been saying it for like years that someone needs. So I was looking through my tweets last night. I think I tweeted like forty times at people who, but can't convince you to do it anyway. And you're happy enough to. Do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, but he was trying to get. He was trying to get his line dancers and that. I said, "Fucking no, Chan." I said, "Listen, I'm here to fight." I said, "Nice song, gets the crowd going." I said, "If I have a fight, if I have line dancers and I lose the fight, people will be saying yeah, yeah. you should join the fucking dancers." Exactly. So yeah, nah. Um, I think that tune's gonna go off. And it's a, it's a, I think I opened the, the chord at 10, so it's, a, it's good to get the crowd on my side and I think I'll get the buzz in there and get the job done. As you said there, you, you, know, you said you're here to fight. I was doing a podcast last night, we were, we were talking about your fight and we were like, do you remember before for your fights, everyone was like saying, oh, this celebrity is fighting and you know, people are going mad and there really isn't that anymore. Do you think the fact that that has kind of quietened down, maybe you've garnered a little bit more respect from the MMA community itself? I don't, I don't hear that, that word, what you just said, celebrity. This jo- I don't hear Jody Sean, I don't hear celebrity in interviews anymore. So which is which is nice, but it took us two and a half years to get rid of that name tag. Not not that I wanted to get rid of it because if it wasn't for that, then I wouldn't be here. Um, but it's nice to, to be seen as like as as a fighter now. Do you know what I mean? And I'm working hard to become that, so it's nice to be ni- nice to be recognised. What do you think of Austin Klim as a as an opponent? I watched a few fights, three one. He's obviously good on the ground. You know, he takes a few strikes and on the feet and stuff. When you're watching him, what do you see? Do you know what is, he looks a big. He looks at, from. What I looked, he's, he, uh, he looks quite big. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming he's going to be quite strong. Um, he's finished. I think he's finished five or six fights as a rear, and rear naked. So that we're, obviously we're going to have to watch out for that. But he does take a few strikes. He does take a few strikes, and I've seen him take strikes off people that kind of hit and I can bang. So I've got a feeling he's going to come out running street. That's what I've got a feeling. But you can never know. I've trained for fights, and this kid's going to do this. He's going to do that, and they've done the total opposite. So. I'll just have a feel around on Saturday night and then I'll know, I'll, I'll kind of know. And once we start pinging them, it'll be a different story. What, what do you think, like, uh, obviously you're on the main card, as you mentioned, opening up the main card, and I know your Twitter's been going mad with Kev, you can you Aaron Lodge Armors and everything. <laughs> what do you think of, like, the Irish crowd and putting on a show for them? My first ever MMA show was in, in the three arena that I watched. Oh, yeah. My first ever one. And from that day, I said, I want to fight you. Which one was it? It was Duke and Moore versus um, uh, Lachlan, yeah cracking fight and I remember the crowd just going mental and I was like I need I I said I need to fight yeah um and then ever since I've been to, I've been to so many events there and I just never got the call and I got the phone because I was meant to be in London in November it didn't come and then I got the phone call John Dublin and I just snapped the hand off it was a no-brainer so here we are he- opening up the show I mean who would have thought it when I sat down and watched the, the, that fight the first time I never thought I would be be maybe not even, I didn't think I would fight then. I remember opening the opening the main card on Channel Five. So I've come a long way in two and a half years, and it's exciting times. What do you think? I suppose last question. I don't want to look past the fight or anything. Obviously, we fight in front of you on Saturday night. But you know, when you come into a lot of people, maybe including yourself, maybe have a bit of fun. We'll see how it goes. No. What do you think it is now? Is it still that, or do you want to maybe climb the ranks? I want to start climbing the ranks. I feel like I feel like I've progressed 
leaps and bounds in two and a half years. So what's the next two and a half years, three years to hold? If I keep progressing as I am, then I look at some people and think, do you know what it is? In three, three years, I could be better than you. So I'm just going to keep my head down, keep working, and that's what I'm going to aim for. I'm in this for the long haul now. I'm looking forward to seeing it, Aaron. Thank you very much for your time. Really appreciate it.